Hi, I'm Sax Eno. I'm an editor working on Vanderpump Rules. I worked on the first four seasons and came back for season 10, and we just got nominated for an Emmy. The thing I love the most about working on Vanderpump Rules is you know, finding the best story. That's what we do as editors. We're always looking for a great story, and so I'm always excited to find that story, and there's so many possibilities on Vanderpump Rules. Our cast has a lot going on, even when we're not filming, so there's a lot of choices to make about which story we're running with. Um, I'm also kind of drawn to more of the, the comedy stuff. I, I think there's so many, there's so many great moments because this cast is inherently funny, whether they're trying to be or not. I'm always looking for the best story and, you know, the best comedic moments. I think the reason why the Lady in the Glamp was a good episode to submit for the Emmys is because this whole Scandaval storyline kind of hit a pivotal moment in this episode and our co-editor Je Jesse Friedman cut this genius sequence where he used a rewind effect and utilizing scenes that hadn't been used and a voiceover from Lala and it was just this most genius kind of clever way to tell a story and I think people really responded to, the, to that and this Scandaval storyline had just been building up to that moment so I think that that on its own made it a great episode but there are other moments in the episode that I think make it really dynamic and dramatic. There's a scene with Raquel and Ariana by the fireplace where Ariana is kind of consoling Raquel, Raquel's crying, and then seeing what happens to those two characters later, it's just, you know, as an audience member knowing that, it, it, it's just, it's an incredible moment of television. I found out about the Emmy nomination from a text message that I got from our executive producer, Jen Metz, and she just said congratulations, and I had completely forgotten about the Emmy nominations. So it took me a second to realize what she was saying, but it was overwhelming to find out that we had been nominated for an Emmy. I never thought that would happen. And so it was exciting, especially for this show, which I love working on so much and has been such an incredible experience for the last 10 years. It's you know one of those shows that you can come back to and it's always creative, it's always interesting. And so to be, Getting an Emmy nomination for something that you love so much is like very exciting. Vanderpump Rules is very collaborative and you're working with an enormous amount of editors and, an, and a story department and we're constantly, you know, working in different projects, sending things to each other. Um, and that kind of like collaboration on a technical level is supreme in Avid Media Composer. With a tool like Script Sync, it's, it's extremely valuable for reality TV editors because there are hours and hours and hours of interviews for each cast member, and we need to be able to look through those interviews really quickly for the thoughts and the ideas that we need to build the scene. So Script Sync is one of those things that I don't know what we would do without. I think to work in this business, whether it's in films or television, you have to know Avid Media Composer because that's what 99% of the shows and movies are edited on. So I think for any person that's trying to break in the industry as an editor, I would definitely try to le learn that software. You can do so many things with it. You can uh, you know, get all these different kinds of editing jobs that are out there. Just learning the basics of Avid Media Composer will help anybody trying to break in the business a lot. The advice that I would give to people trying to break into the industry as an editor is if you're working on a project that already has an editor, I would go up to that editor and offer to cut scenes for them in your spare time and then go back to them and ask for feedback on those scenes because that feedback is gonna be the best education you can get. The other advice that I would have for any editor is just to trust your instincts and I'm a big fan of the phrase, you know, cut with your gut. It's really important to be in touch with your instincts when you're watching footage for the first time, or if you're trying to work out a problem in the edit, or if you're about to send your cutout to the network for notes, you just gotta remember to try to trust your instincts.